How's it going everybody? Mark Weisbarth here and this is Traits of a Great Realtor. You know, I've heard it so many times from realtors. I am a master negotiator. I am a pit bull. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. And I've always thought that was kind of funny because the way I look at it is we aren't master negotiators. I like to think of myself as a master accommodator. And what I mean by that is when I am representing my client and I'm talking to the agent on the other side representing their client, I'm doing my best to come to terms with the other party and be a middleman. And by doing that, you have to be respectful, you have to be professional, you have to be nice, and you have to be helpful because ultimately both agents should want the same thing, which is helping their clients come to terms and get a deal done. And so whenever you come up against another agent, I've done it so many times, I instantly feel like it's them versus me. And they have this very defensive attitude and they're pretty much like rude and you know, they're trying to play hardball with me and you know, it's kind of transparent. All these realtors that say I'm such a good negotiator at this stage, it's like we can all spot BS when we see it, you know? So a lot of these agents that think they're just such great salesmen and negotiators, they come at you with these lines and scripts that you've heard a million times and you can see right through. And I always try to be genuine and just, you know, honest and, and forthcoming and just treat people the way I want to be treated. So I, I find myself having to, a lot of times, remind them like, hey, you know, we both want the same thing. You know, I'm representing my client, you're representing yours, and ultimately we want to, you know, work together. We're basically partners. It's not me against you, we're partners. And so I think of myself as a master middleman, and I think that's really important in a realtor. You want to represent your client. We're not the ones buying and selling the property. I mean, you would think that sometimes the realtor is like the one putting in the offer, and it's not the case. We're representing our clients. So I always make sure to say things like the buyer, the seller. I stay away from saying things like, you know, my client and your client. And it's not really like that. We're working together on a transaction. For what it's worth, that's my little two cents on traits of a realtor. You want somebody who's a master accommodator, a middle person, not necessarily a hardball hard-nosed negotiator because nobody really likes the feeling of getting their arms twisted and sold a bunch of BS and forcefully, you know, you know, pushed into a situation. You feel like your back's against the wall. Not really a good feeling. So for what it's worth, that's my uh, thoughts on traits of a great realtor. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.